Hello everybody and welcome back to Road to the Show here on MLB 16 this show. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not Gunslinger. No, no, no. This is our shortstop, James Mathis, playing for the Tampa Bay Rays and it has been a while. It has been maybe a month. Maybe I maybe a little less. I don't know, but it's been a very very long time and Let's get caught up. Let's see where he is We're about a month out of the end of the triple-a season and there's our stats 59 at bats 12 hits uh, No home runs couple of RBIs. That's a good way to start the uh, episode back up after a long long off season technically or off Time or whatever you want to call it with the base hit However, we do strike out, so good, bad, what do you want? 7-6, another opportunity for some bit RBIs. Uh, base hit, yeah, not going to happen. Two strikeouts, and now we're down 10-7. So two strikeouts, one with bases loaded, one with men on the corners with one out. However, there we do draw a walk. Unfortunately, nowhere near enough for our team to win. We finish one for four, those two strikeouts. Really, really did hurt us. Potentially three RBIs or more right there. And that's what we end up losing by 10-7 by three. So now, let's go ahead and take a look at the next game. We actually sit because the roster move was made. Don't don't look at the names. Only look at the colors. Durham is blue. The Gwinnett Braves are red. We end up losing this one 7-2. A little glitch in the game. I don't think it's ever going to get fixed or it's not really that much to care about. But... The roster move, we get rid of James Loney to the Marlins for a starting pitcher. So, now wearing, I think, what our best uniforms are here in Durham. Kind of a light blue all around. And that's a good fielding opportunity right there. Get some fielding points. However, we're back at it again with strikeouts. And now 6 nothing to Paul Tuckett. We're going to draw a walk. So, now base is loaded. Unfortunately, can't get anything done. Runner or the uh, fielder throws this out going to second. So we're back in the field. Our time now. Good throw right there. Gets the runner out. And we end up losing that 7 nothing. We end up sitting two of the three games. So that was the only game we did play. On to the last series here against the Charlotte Knights. Ironically, the AAA affiliate for the Chicago White Sox. This one is going to go to the third baseman. No, it's not Todd Frazier or anyone like that. His name's Garcia, but that first about that went to um, that went to Tyler Saladino. So a little ironic there. We're playing against White Sox AAA affiliate. We're doing a White Sox franchise, and uh, hey, you know what? Don't matter to us. We get a base hit right there. And today we are playing second base. We have a very relaxed throw compared to shortstop, and now this one is on the ground. We're gonna ground out. And unfortunately for us, that is going to end the video. We're going to ground out here. We end up losing 5-3. We're on a bad losing streak. We go 2 for 5. So we do a little bit better. Get another hit and another at bat from like 2-3 games ago. And that is going to do it. So it says the roster move is made again. Again, don't look at the names. We're blue. Charlotte is yellow, gold. And we end up winning the last game we set out. So we only played one game of Charlotte, one game of Paul Tuckett, and I believe two games of Gwinnett. So, Coach, I don't know what you're doing, but we're nearing the end of the season. So hopefully we get that playing time, spring training, get into the MLB. Hopefully it'll all end well. We're going to round it out with some points spending, as we always do. Guys, welcome back to Durham Bulls Road to the Show. Uh, it's been a long time, but we're going to look to get back into it, especially near the end of the AAA season. And with Gunslinger, we're going to have a little bit of variety each week. So guys, thank you for watching. My name has been James from JT Plays. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you later. Take care.